Hey, Guardian. We were just grabbing a little downtime. Gotta celebrate your successes, you know? Amanda told me we must not forget to kick it back. <laughs> oh, we have accomplished much and saved many lives. That's right. There's no I in team, but there is an A and an M. Please don't tell folks I said that. But yeah, we're a team. Any door I can't hack open, you splice through. We are in this together. It is a privilege to join you. You and the Vanguard welcomed us as honored guests in your city. Guests? The city is your home. When I first showed up at the gates, I felt like I belonged. And that's how it should be for everyone. I had thought you were born there. No, nope. I got there later. Same as you. Amanda, you know our story, but I would very much like to hear yours. I grew up on the road. As long as I could remember, my family had been walking toward the last city. My mama told me we'd be safe there. She said that was all that mattered. But at the time, all that mattered to me were the jump ships in the sky above. I thought they were the greatest thing I'd ever seen. My folks tried their best, but the road's a dangerous place. When the House of Winter attacked, my mama fought him off best she could. He even killed a captain before they shot her. Pneumonia got my daddy not long after. I'd heard tales of people resurrected, chosen for immortality, but not them. They were just gone. When I finally reached the last city, I knew my mama was right. I'd be safe there. I was finally home. I learned to fly as soon as I could reach the stick. I never had powers like the Guardians or a ghost to resurrect me. But in the cockpit, I'm every inch as tough. Every time I fly, I remember where I came from and who I'm fighting for. And that's all that matters. Thank you, Amanda, for your story and your spirit. Yeah, well, we've come a long way, huh? Yes, we have. <laughs>